In this video, you'll learn how Login Screenlet lets you save user credentials and implement the auto login feature of LifeRay screens in your Objective-C apps. First, add a new view controller to show as the initial screen. As usual, this view controller opens the login view controller modally using a seg. Next, create the UI view controller class to handle the new view controller. Now return to the storyboard and set this new class as the custom class for the view controller. The home view controller needs to show the login view controller when no session exists. To accomplish this, you can use LifeRay Screen's Session Context class. This class holds information about the session established with the login screenlet. This code is how you can show a new view controller. To make things a bit more clear, you could also add some console messages. Now run the app. The login view controller appears because there's no session present. The console message also indicates this. Now return to the home view controller and add a new console message that appears when the session is present. This message is triggered when the home view controller appears after the session is created or loaded. This is the auto login feature. Now you need to enable the save credentials mode in the login screenlet. When this is enabled and a login successfully completes, the credentials are securely stored in the device's keychain. They can then be retrieved for later use. Next, implement a new delegate method to be notified when the credentials are stored. To keep things simple for this example, I'll just have it print a message in the console. Now run your app and log in using valid credentials. Note that the credentials are stored and the delegate is called. The credentials are now available for retrieval from the keychain. However, if you run the app again, the stored credentials aren't loaded automatically. You have to do this using session context's load session from store method. For this example, I'll just implement it so that it prints out messages saying the credentials are loaded correctly. Now run the app again and note that the session is created automatically with the stored credentials. To prove that this is actually retrieving stored credentials and that we're not trying to trick you, I'll change the message to show the stored user's email address. And there you have it, the auto login feature is ready to roll. 